Hello students, a very good and refreshing morning to all of you. So, you know we were on the chapter number 2, basic accounting terms as we are discussing all the basic accounting elements which are useful for the ones who learn accounts and have to prepare the financial statements. So, we are going through all those elements and for your reference we are following T.S. Garewal's double entry bookkeeping. So we are going to discuss chapter number 2 basic accounting terms. For today learning objectives why we are making why we are making this lecture why we are going through the basic accounting elements. First of all to apply knowledge of journal accepted accounting principles and managerial accounting theories to business organizations states, local governments and non-profit organizations. So today we are going to cover the following basic elements, your you know, new key terms that first of all expense, revenue, income, drawings, capital, cost, gain, freight, import, carriage inwards, export and carriage outwards. Other than this, we will also cover discount, types of discount, account, books of account and moreover the debit and credit. We will revise those terms because as we have already done these terms also. So before proceeding with the elements, let me give you one example of a very popular industry these days. Why I am asking these days? So you all know novel COVID-19 is there. So lockdown is there and uh, it is mandatory for everyone who is going outside to carry a mask, face mask, to wear gloves, right? So we are having safety equipment. We are using them. So one of the very famous industry which is manufacturing the same and supplying is Shiri Sai Industries. So this is the one of the industries which has been working for the welfare of the people. It's not an NGO, it's not a non-profit organization. But these days due to pandemic, they are manufacturing and providing at high discounts. So it was established in 1997, provides industrial supplies general, machinery and parts. So what I'm saying, supplies general, machinery and parts. It means they do two type of business. One is wholesale, another is retail. They make machines to prepare masks. They manufacture masks and supply them at different pharmacies. Right? So, it was started by Bipin Mafatlal Vyas and Kunal Mafatlal Vyas. So, Mafatlal group of industries is very famous. If you keep on exploring about them, we will find a large number of products about these Mafatlal groups. They are registered office in Mumbai. Now, what are they manufacturing? They are manufacturing metals. Metals mean machines they are producing. They are producing chemicals to be uh, applied in gloves and masks. Because they don't only prepare face masks, they deal with surgical masks, they deal with air muffs. So, they deal with a variety of products which has to be deal in pharmacy shops, surgical equipments, right? So they deal with disposable nose mask machines, hand gloves machines, safety masks, surgical masks, safety helmets, the helmets which we wear. So these days also, you know, when you see in news, the doctors are wearing full-fledged uh, padded helmets. They are covering their faces also. So what is this? They are helping during this pandemic because they are supplier of such products. In Punjab, we also have a branch of Shiri Sai industry. It is located in Ludhiana. So in Ludhiana, we have one group of Shiri Sai industries producing the same mask as they are produced in headquarters. Also, we will now discuss about the different elements related to this industry. So let us start with the concept of discounts. 
Okay, does anything strikes your mind when you hear about discounts? These words are not very new for you. Special offer, sale, discount, buy two, get one free, flat, 30% off, 10% discount, save your money, cash back. So what are these all words? These are all familiar words or you can say synonymous of discount. So what is discount? When there is a reduction in the price of a commodity for the consumer, that reduction is called a discount. Suppose I buy 12 dozens of bulbs, right? It costs me rupees 3000. When I ask for certain privileges, that is discount, then they offered me that you have bought 30. Upon every 10, we are giving 10%. So I have bought 30, I will get 30% discount. So upon 3000, I will get 30% discount. That is a discount of 900. So I have to pay 2100. So this is a journal example of discount. You go to malls, you go to shopping showrooms, you go to retail outlets. So offers are there. You people are girls, so very much familiar. Buy two, get one free. Buy two tops and you will get one free. So two tops cost you 1200 and one you pick it up and come home. So flat, so I have written a word here, flat. Flat means any product you pick, you will get 30% off. Right? Any product in the showroom who is giving the offer of flat 30%. So flat means that any product you pick, you will be getting 30% off. And sometimes also we have a chain series. Chain series is like, if you buy 10, you will get 5%. If you buy 20, you will get 10%. If you buy 15, you will get 25%. So as the number of products increases, discount rate increases. So this is called chain series of discount. Okay, now for accounting purpose, we have two types of discount. First is trade discount, another is cash discount. Now trade discount is the discount between the wholesaler and retailer or discount between the manufacturer and the wholesaler. So there is no role of customer in it. Customer himself is playing no role in trade discount. So wholesaler or retailer receives off the list price. Now I'm using word off. Off means less. So trade discount is always equals to list price minus net price. So list price is that now which you keep in your books of accounts, which you record like uh, I have a bundle of uh, bundle of books lying with me, a notebooks lying with me and a pile of 200. A pile of 200 list price is 2000, 100 rupees per notebook. This is list price and we have to calculate the net price. So let us understand the list price and net price with the help of an example. First of all, say uh, there is a phone call between Rita, the manager of She Sign Industries and me. I want some uh, gloves. So I called her. Hello, Rita. The manager at She Sign Industries. May I buy a box of face masks to you? She said, yes, sure. Since you will buy the whole box containing 2,500 pieces, I will give you a discount of 40%. So now we can test and solidify our knowledge for the below stated accounting elements. So as we were discussing about trade discount, we trade discount consists of three parts. Suggested rate, retail price, net price and discount rate. Wherever you visit a shop, you opt a product, you pick up uh, any item and you ask for the price. The shopkeeper says it cost 700. So what is it? It's a suggested price, not the price at which he wants to sell, but a suggested retail price. Then he, you are not agreed with the price. It seems to be high. Then you ask for that, uh, you start bargaining. And when you start bargaining, he will bring his discount rates out and he says that, okay, I will give you 10% discount. So after again bargaining, let it be 15% or 20%. 
so what is the discount rate the concession which he can be availing from the wholesaler and now giving to you keeping his profit margin in it so the difference between the retail price and the discount is called the net price which is to be charged by the customer so how trade discount is calculated trade discount is equals to list price multiply by rate suppose a box of mass containing 2500 pieces cost 12500 5 rupees per piece so 12500 is the list price and rate of discount was 40% so how to calculate trade discount here 12500 into 40% 40 over 100 and discount is 5000 So now this is the list price. Forty percent is trade discount, and five thousand is the amount of discount. So how to calculate net pro- price now here? List price minus discount twelve thousand five hundred minus five thousand equals to seventy five hundred. So we have already discussed. Sometimes it can be in the form of chain series or cartel price. Chain series we have discussed. More you buy, more you discount, more the discount you can get. and cartel price is suppose if uh, you buy 500 boxes so same no i have i have been asking for a single box if i buy 10 boxes 12 boxes 15 boxes discount rate will increase and they are saying that we are giving you incentives also like no transportation cost no handling cost no packing charges right we will even relax you of some gst amount so this is what curtail in price so another set we have that is cash discount so what is cash discount as the name suggest when you pay cash you have some concession and that is called cash discount an incentive that a seller offers to a buyer in return for paying a bill if i clear my bill i am paying in cash and i am having some incentive in return but instantly on the spot or before the due date of the bill for example the retailer told me i will give you additional 2% discount if payment for a box of mass will be made within 10 days of receiving the bill so today is 13th may like i have placed order today and if i clear it before 22nd may then she will give me 2% more discount and now 2% discount will be applied on 7500 this is the point to be noted this is the point you have to use in every accounting numerical that rate of discount cash discount is applied on net price not on list price so here it is 150 now if i clear the bill i have to pay 7350 it means i will get a total discount of of rupees 5001 and 150 total discount of 5150 out of the amount of 12500 so our next term is expenses expenses means kharche the cost which business incurs for producing goods and services or using services is called expense your parents incur your school bill they pay your school fees and what is it it is an expense for your parents you go to a restaurant with your friend and you clear all the dining cost so what is it it's a expense for you they include payments for wages salaries freight advertisement rent insurance and many more in other words we can say expense is a cost of earning revenue now i am advertising my product i am incurring an expense but that expense will help me yielding a revenue also that is income so our next term is revenue amount received by a business for selling goods or services is known as revenue revenue means your income revenue means the gains 
revenue amount received by a business whatever business receive after selling the goods or by giving the services is called revenue like it is in the form of rent interest commission received discount received dividend received now dividend is the income on shares if we invest on shares we will receive dividend not interest interest is received on investment next term is income amount which increases the capital of the business capital is the total amount which a business possess amount invested in the business if investment of the business increases so that is known as your income suppose sales are made and the amount of sales that is sales revenue the sale income is helping in increasing the turnover of the business and that is called income of the business or we can say income is an excess of revenue over expense So next I have now is drawings. So this is very important term of accounts. Drawings. Draw means to withdraw something. I go to bank. I take out rupees 20,000 out of my account. What is it? I am withdrawing. Now if I remove word with from it. That was my own account. I can withdraw. But the business which I am running is not my own account. Is business account. I can't spend my own expenses from my business account. I can only take the profit of the business. But I cannot take the capital of the business for my own use. So cash, goods. Which is withdrawn by the proprietor. Now who is proprietor here? Proprietor is the owner. Owner of the business for its private use. So it is called drawings. It reduces the capital of the business. For example, I asked my accountant to pay income tax from the business account. Income tax is on, is on my personal income. I asked one of my colleague to pay my insurance premium life insurance premium so it is again on my life i asked one of my colleague to pay rent of the house so it is again my personal expense if i pay my personal expense out of business pocket that is called drawings now next is capital amount of cash goods or assets which is invested by the owner while starting the business is called capital. I have 5 lakh rupees. I have a place of about 250 square feet. So I invested both to start a business. I put both of them in use to start a business. So what is both comprising cash plus my land? This is capital. Now why I have invested the same? To earn profits. So in other words, assets minus liabilities. Suppose 5 lakh I was having, I was having land piece also, but I was not having money for constructing an office or for constructing a premises to a workplace to work for. So I take a loan of rupees 5 lakh more. So what is it? It is my liability. Now Assets minus liability. Assets means 5 lakh of cash plus land minus loan is equals to capital. So next is cost. So we have in a business one has to pay so many expenses related to production, related to selling, related to operations of a business, clerical, 
मैकेनिकल स्टाफ और यू कैन से प्रमोशन ऑफ योर प्रोडक्ट सो डिफरेंट एक्सपेंसिस हैव टू बी इंकर्ड सम आर डायरेक्ट एक्सपेंसिस डायरेक्ट एक्सपेंसिस मीन्स रिलेटेड विद प्रोडक्शन अदर्स आर इनडायरेक्ट एक्सपेंसिस लाइक एडवर्टीजमेंट सो इट डज नॉट इट एड टू द प्रोडक्ट बट इट डज इट इज नॉट शोन इन द लिस्ट प्राइज ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट सो डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट एक्सपेंसिस टोटल विच इज इंकर्ड फॉर प्रोडक्शन ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस इज कॉल्ड कॉस्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल कॉस्ट ऑफ रॉ मटीरियल लेबर मेनी मोर सर्विसेस ऑल आर टाइड अप टूगेदर एंड इट्स कॉल्ड टोटल कॉस्ट सो नेक्स्ट टर्म आई हैव इज गेन गेन मीन्स प्रॉफिट रेवेन्यू माइनस एक्सपेंसिस इज इक्वल्स टू इनकम सो इफ यू आफ्टर हैविंग if after incurring all the expenses you have income and out out of your income you are paying off your liabilities so what is left it is called gain it is money worth a monetary receipt of a business transaction that is revenue minus expenses sale of an asset suppose in my business i was having a machinery now i have installed a new machinery and i want to sell the old machinery i want to dispose it off so selling off the old machinery that will yield me some money and that money will be my gain when i sell off an asset that represents my gain in the business so revenue minus expenses is equals to gain next term is freight freight means kiraya fare for goods transport now we can trade anywhere global trade is there so for that global trade transportation plays an important role we transport goods from one place to another and it is transported in bulk so we can transport it by roadways railways airways that is using truck train ship aircraft so goods are produced and they are conveyed for to they are conveyed for the consumers to have commercial gain by using water air or land so whatever we pay for the transportation as a charge is called freight in ship the goods which are transported from one country to another that is called cargo so cargo was originally a ship load it covers all types of freight including that carried rail van truck or intermodal container so let me elaborate this suppose i have produced the goods being a manufacturer now i want to export the goods i want to sell my goods in another country and i have opted for ship route i have opted for water route so for that first of all i have to get my goods packed load them in a van make them at the place of ship that is dockyard so when it reached there what happened so i have covered the expenses of van truck the container in which i have loaded and then unloaded unloading will start so all combined together will comprise freight now the next term is import so this is not a new term i think most of you are using imported goods many of your knowns dear ones are settled in abroad and they are giving you goods or you are asking for some imported goods from them so bringing goods from one country to another country to sell them to use them that is called import for example if i introduce my friend from another country to deep fried twinkies you know na deep fried twinkies we use mccain mccain is a very good example so we produce those goods get them packed and transfer them from one place to another so when boundaries are set off when boundaries are crossed that is from one country to another 
so it is called import another example suppose a shop owner bring artwork back from indonesia to sell at their san francisco shop so from one country to another so that is what import now purchase of goods from a foreign country so import is when we buy goods from a foreign country every country has its own import policy statutory legal requirements and custom policies so one has to clear all the dues and work according to the custom rules and regulations only then import can be made financial transaction of international trade so import can also be regarded as a financial transaction an event for international trade so next we will discuss about carriage inward so carriage inward in simple language what does it mean i buy goods get it transported for getting it transported i have to pay some fare transportation charges so all the transportation charges from the place of manufacturer to the person who is buying it whether it be a retailer or a consumer or a wholesaler that is called carriage inward you are bringing goods in that why it is called carriage inwards transportation cost paid by a purchaser when it receives merchandise merchandise is trading it ordered with terms free on board shipping point so i'm pointing out here free on board fob sometimes there are few commodities which are free on board that is they have not to be paid board charges now board is what a place where unloading of goods at ship take place it is also known as carriage in which is also called freight in or transportation in all the shipping and handling cost incurred by a company for receiving goods from suppliers is called carriage inward so you have imported goods at your home so the one who make your goods available at your home has also done a transaction and that transaction is called export you have imported and another has exported the same so sending goods to another country for sale which were produced in other country and that is known as export from one country to another if goods are sold that is known as export and the seller who sell is is known as exporter he is not a seller now he is an exporter it is one of the oldest form of economic transfers it is not a very new term it is very old one so it includes many export companies you must all have heard many of your friends also that my father uh, is doing a import export business right a business is there a company is open so as to bring goods from another country and sell goods of your country to another one so they are also called trading houses trading companies buying offices buying agents export representatives export distributors export agents export management companies emcs and manufacturers company for example these days we do not have any trade with china but uh, you people know knew it that china is a great exporter of its products we use china products in india also and also rice is shipped from china not in india but to many other countries of the world similarly philippines is the seventh largest importer of soya bean meals and its turnover is about 1 billion dollar so another term which we have to discuss is carriage outward it refers to the transportation cost that a seller must pay when it sells merchandise with the terms free on board destination carriage inward was i am purchasing goods and all the expenses the freight which i have to pay the transportation charges which i have to pay that is called carriage inward now for carriage outward what i have to say that is 
the amount I am selling goods and for selling those goods I have to incur certain transportation expenses and that is called carriage outward. It is also called freight out, transportation out, delivery expenses. In India, you know what is carriage inward and outward? Lorry expenses, van expenses, passenger, uh, sorry, loaded train expenses in which goods are transferred, the train which carry goods. So, or simple language you can use, the simple language which a layman use for carriage inward and outward is like the rent of a, a commodity which can carry your goods from one place to another. It can be a small truck, it can be a small auto rickshaw and anything. So carriage inward is charged when the goods are being procured from the supplier. Carriage outward is incurred while the goods are being sold to a customer. So inward means when you are purchasing goods and outward means when you are selling goods. Let us see that on what freight is incurred. Why do we incur freight? Why is carriage paid? So it can be on goods. It can be on merchandise. Now what is merchandise? Goods traded in. Suppose I have a business of the electronics. I have LEDs, refrigerators, washing machines at my showroom. So all the products which I get in at my showroom that is I am trading in with my stock so that is merchandise now what is stock the goods which I sell which I bring for resale that is called stock packaging charges product batch now what is batch when you buy goods in bulk a full batch like code 3120 in full so that is a batch and for all those, we also incur few expenses like salaries, wages, rent, advertisement, supplies, interest and income tax, repairs, loss from fire, loss from theft, all are our expenses related in running a business. So capital which we invest in the business is also called net assets or equity. All the total assets minus total liabilities is called capital. Capital has four main parts, investments, withdrawals, withdrawals called drawings, income and expenses. So these are all four main important components of capital. Now we are covering costs also. So we have two types of costs incurred in a business. First is fixed cost, another is variable cost. So for fixed cost, we have monthly expenses like Suppose rent for a month, electricity bill, your phone connection charges, so which you have to pay every month, your school bills, fixed costs are there which are decided and you have to pay them. So variable cost. Suppose if due to any emergency an event is there which is not predictable and its need arise to buy a machine to produce goods in order which is uh, demand which is in demand by the customer so for buying that machine it's a variable cost it is not incurred every month it is not fixed so that is called variable cost so let us revise all our terms with the help of a flow chart so see here first of all goods are produced now the goods so produced are made for sales and those sales are handled by salesperson Sales are made to customers. So there is a duality, duality between sales and cash receipt. You have cash, you make sales. Once you make sales, you get cash. And the money which you get is you are getting from customer. Or you can have finance from for your business from a cashier. So this is the outflow of money and goods between the sales and the customer within a business. So what we can conclude here, we have almost covered all the elements of accounting. So assets are the properties owned by a business. Liabilities are our obligations to pay to other parties. And capital refers to the portion of assets 
available to the owners of the business after all liabilities are settled now going back to the same example i have 5 lakh rupees a piece of land and a loan of 5 lakh after one year i have incurred many expenses and now i have a profit of about 6 lakhs but out of that 6 lakh first i have to clear my loan loan was 5 lakh now what is my net profit now that is only 1 lakh rupees so this is my capital so for better clarity of the concept do follow the given link and answer the following questions also explain in brief all above stated basic accounting elements what we have done today so tell me whether drawing is an expense or an asset also elaborate all expenses are costs but not all costs are expenses explain the statement i hope the topic is clear to all of you so thank you and go through the pdf so that you can have your notes ready prepare your notes as per your snap homework also thank you